Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. We're just hanging out with Britney Spears, Gila Bo Bila, and we got Ruby Tuesday over there. He's lounging, finally home, chill in to the max. Welcome to the brand new house. If you haven't seen it yet, we've had a couple episodes here, but we're gonna be making a whole bunch more. So get used to the decor, baby mama. Are you guys ready to go outside? You guys ready to go outside? We got a bunch of stuff going on today. I'm gonna be teaching you guys, most importantly, how to train your Siberian Huskies or any dog that you have outdoors. But first, I wanna show you guys a few things. Look at this tiny little Zelda game and watch that I got from the store. Look at this. It's got the original Game Boy Link's Awakening on it, which is like my favorite one of all time. It's also a clock. It's got a couple more Zelda games on it. Came with this really cool packaging. What do you think, Britney Spears? Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah, dude, it's got some Zuda games on it, mate. Wanna go fetch it out in the woods? You can go fetch it. <laughs> Take a bite. Take a bite out of crime. So before we start the training process, we're just gonna be hanging out today. I got a couple things I wanna do. First thing is I wanna build a chess set. A chess set made out of Legos, and more specifically, medieval Legos from the 90s. So I gotta buy all those medieval Legos, but today we're gonna be going to a giant Lego store in downtown Jacksonville, and I'm gonna be getting everything that I need to build the basic setup, like the board with the black and white Legos, get the base, but we're gonna be checking out the Lego store also, because there's all sorts of cool stuff inside. So I hope you'll come along with us at checking out the Lego store. You guys wanna go outside, don't you? Speak if you want to go outside. <laughs> All right, let's do it, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> so I bought a whole bunch of brand new toys for the Huskaroni pizzas, because you know, they're gonna be playing outside all the time and doing dog Twitter on the reg. We gotta have brand new toys. This is called a Kong, uh, I don't know, but it looks like a, well, uh, use your imagination. This thing is a great replacement for a stick. Because Siberian Huskies like to pick up sticks, you never know what's on them. Bugs, algae, all sorts of stuff. You never know. That's a great replacement for a stick. It's healthy to chew on, it's fun to play with, and it doesn't break. So you don't have to worry about splinters getting into your Husky's little teeth. Oh, it's cold outside. So the Huskies are just insanely energized. Anytime the temperature dips below like 60 or 50 degrees in Florida, the Huskies become energized to the max, like an Energizer battery. Make any sudden moves and your Husky will go crazy. Oh my God. We're kind of learning the whole new game about having outdoor toys. Since we aren't used to having a big backyard, we gotta get all the good stuff, you know what I mean? So I got them this really cool Chuck It Frisbee. Now, we have another Frisbee out here. It's just your basic plastic Frisbee, but Gila likes to chew on anything that's plastic and is owned by her. So now that we got this thing, you ready? Not only does it fly super straight because there's no chew marks on it, but it's really easy for the pups to chew on. And it doesn't change the shape of the frizz. This backyard has been amazing. It has served every need that we've needed it to. And also, I don't know if you can tell, but the Huskaroni pizzas are losing weight. It looks like they're on a Jenny McCraig. But Gila is just looking like, woo -hoo. Man, we knew that hashtag thick Gila was there, but we didn't know it was gonna go away, baby. What you doing? What are you doing, huh? What are you smelling? What are you smelling? Look at that fluffy booty. Look at that fluffy tail. What's she doing, huh? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, when it gets cold. When it gets cold. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, you guys are too much fun. It's too much fun when you got the cinnamon bun. You know what I mean, a cinnamon bun, bro. We 
What's your sister doing? Here she comes. What's up, dude? What a stinking beautiful day. Not one cloud in the sky. Hi. What's up? You eating a salad? What are you doing? Is this is this your chair house? Here you go. Here's a ball. <laughs> You're a weirdie. What's this smell? Alright, come on, let's go. Ooh, uh, pardon me. Let's go inside, come on. That's not inside, George. Come on, let's go. There you go, bruh. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Gila, you got the muddy feet. Come on. Stay, stay. All right, let's wipe this off. Thank you, missus. You're the best. Wipe the other one. Thank you, missus. You're the best. This mud's already dried to your foot. All righty. Cool. Getting y'all cleanified. Thanks for being the best. You're so sweet about standing still for me. Go boom and lockage. What's one plus one? <laughs> Good girl. What's two minus two? Ah, trick question. What's three minus two? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's one. What color are you? What what color are you? Can you pick? Are you brown? Are you gold? Are you silk? I don't know what color you are. What color are you? Write in the comments down below. What color do you think Britney Spears is? What what color is this? Gold? Burlap? What are you? Khaki? What is this? What is that? <laughs> He's so happy. All right, with the magic of editing, let's go to the Lego store. You ready? So I'm at the Lego store, and I'm about to go inside and get everything I need for the chess set. Wow. There's the treasure. the adidas shoes so you can build an adidas shoe a lego adidas shoe that's awesome nintendo Whoa. star wars dude Pick and build a brick. So I guess you just pick one of these cups and you just pick out whatever Legos you want. But I don't think they have the black Legos that I need. All right, so I wasn't able to get any of the black or white Legos because they didn't have them. I'm gonna have to either order them online or just get them, I don't know, in a box of random ones. But they did have the huge base plate, which I need him. This is like the biggest one I think you can get. Pet supermarket, come on in and buy all your pet stuff today. Why is it that I have to sing every time I enter a place? Hi, how are you? Hi. Hello. How's it going? Where do we go from? I'm looking for dog treats. Yeah, I got you. Cool. 
doing some outdoor training today. Are uh, you looking for a uh, particular brand? So you want like, um, like just I don't want any biscuits. I just want something like dehydrated lung Ooh. stuff yeah. or. So I have all of this. So that's beef liver, chicken liver, chicken liver, chicken liver, beef liver, smaller bags, and then I have over here. Yeah. Cool. Dehydrated, so that's lamb lung. Uh, Perfect. That is, I think, beef lung. And we're home. All right, we were able to grab some really good training treats. These are freeze dried chicken liver pieces. Now the difference between this and like biscuits, like cookies that you get at the store, is that not only are these easier on your dog's teeth, but they're way better for your husky. When you're training, you're gonna be giving out a lot of treats. So you wanna get like little sized treats and you wanna make sure that it's something that's healthy because if you're giving your dog like 6,000 biscuits during a training session, they're gonna get a fat little tum tum, right? Yeah, you know it. So always go with something healthy. Dehydrated organs are always a good route. They're really healthy. And there's like a billion of them per package. So we got the ultra limited ones. Ultra limited. Look at Ruby Tuesday. He's like, yo, be broby. You wanna be in this episode? You wanna do some outdoor training? Yup. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna take these, we're gonna go outdoors with the Huskies, and we're going to train. Now the first thing that you need to understand is that this is your humble abode. This is where you live. So when you're training your Siberian Husky indoors, it's a whole different story than when you're training them outdoors. This is what you called, and I'll put it right here, a controlled environment. Basically, Everything in here is controlled by you. There's no distractions in here. Nothing to thwart your plan. And your dog's chances of listening to you indoors is very likely. But when we go outdoors, when we take it outside, this is what you call, and I, I'll put it right here, an uncontrolled environment. This means there are thousands of little distractions outside. Things that will make your dog look away, not want to listen. The side effects are endless. But but this means that it is much harder to train your pepperoni pizza outdoors than it is inside where you control everything. So you got it? Controlled environment, uncontrolled environment. Controlled environment, uncontrolled environment. So most people think they're like the best dog trainers because they can teach their husky to do stuff indoors. And well, frankly, props to you because that is an awesome thing to teach your husky and it's very important. But the real challenge is to train them outdoors. So equip yourself with treats because you go need them. Let's do this. On your mark, get set, go, go run you beasts. Oh yeah, I got the goods. I got the goods, man. You gonna get the goods, just chill a money. So what I typically recommend that you do, first thing, when you wanna train your Siberian Husky outdoors, get them exercised because this is gonna get them focused. So go ahead and do your best to run all that energy out of them before you even consider doing the train -a jig All right, so now you got them all tuckered out and tired. You've run them around, they've gone a million miles per hour. Hello, welcome to the show, Mrs. Ma'am. Now it's about time to start training. There's tons of squirrels out here, plenty of birds, things to distract the huskies, which is what you're looking for. So here's my tip to you. If you don't have a backyard that's fully fenced in and enclosed like this, do yourself a favor. Find a nice field where there's not a lot of dogs, where you can be alone and get yourself a very long lead, preferably between 30 to 60 feet. This way, you can let your husky wander around a little bit, and if you keep their lead on the floor or you kind of step on it, you'll be able to let them run a pretty good distance before that lead gets tight and it pulls. It's just a faux way to give them a little bit of freedom without giving them freedom. Look at all the deliciousness. Ooh, Mama Sita, that looks so good. Oh, Daddy, -o. do you even know what's in here? It's the treat of Maronis. It's the treat of Maronis. Oh, yes, it is. We're gonna put these up here. It's the secret location. So come on, let's go. All right, now we're outside, I got the treats, and clearly I have their attention, which is good, and that's what we're looking for. Once your husky is tired and tuckered out enough, you got some treats, you got their attention, we're in the zone. So let's go ahead and get Britney Spears to sit. Good boy. 
Now, my first tip to you is to only give small amounts. Yeah, that's not good behavior. I'm not gonna give you no treat if you're jumping. Small amounts are the best way to reward your pepperoni pizza because honestly, they don't know the difference and giving them too much is going to make them tired of learning very quickly. So if you give them like huge chunks, they're gonna get full. And after only like three tricks, they're gonna go, uh, uh, no thanks, bro. Another tip, I typically encourage everyone to work on one dog at a time, but I'm just gonna work with both of these pepperoni pizzas today for the sake of showing you what is up. So let's go ahead and work on a few commands. Stay, stay. Come, sit, rewarded. Look, there's a distraction right there. You see, Heel is not totally tuckered out and focused in on me. But Britney Spears, good boy. You're gonna get an extra little treat there. Stand, good job. Can you give me a little longer stand? That was so good right there. Can you lay down? Good girl. Other way. <laughs> I mean, that was a mess, but pretty fun. Now, lots of people like to work on tricks like that. Rolling, sitting, standing. But some of the best tricks to work on are just recall and staying because they're some of the most important things to teach your husky. So let's teach Britney Spears. Look at this big chonky piece. We're going to have him stay while I walk around this entire loop right here, which is going to teach him not only to stay still, but it's going to teach him patience also. And it's going to lessen that anxiety the more that he learns patience. Training dogs is tons of patience. So if you don't have patience, dude, don't get into training your pup. Oh, my GoPro died, so we have to start over on another camera. Stay. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Stay. Stay. Much better. Good job, big boy. Good job. You want to reward any progress that's made by your Huskaroni pizzas. I'm going to try this one more time, but we're going to go the opposite direction. Stay. job that was really good we'll work on making it perfect but that was really good this is a great way to teach your siberian huskies how to listen to your commands when you're outside now i know tons of people will write in the comments yo bro this is totally a controlled environment because it's fenced in and you're right but if you're not in a controlled environment like this if you're totally outdoors like where your dog can get into danger or you know put other people into danger, it's good to be able to have them listen to your commands. And this is exactly where you start practicing. So let's go get some more treats, come on. All right, let's try a brand new trick, stay. Stay. Gila only, stay, Gila. George, good boy, good boy. That was so good. You guys waited, that was very good. Stay, George. Hila. Good girl, that was perfect, that was perfect. Now can I get a paw from each? George Paul, thank you. 
very good, very good. If you guys practice these kinds of strategies outdoors with your Siberian Husky, you're gonna see so much progress and they're gonna listen to you a lot more. Remember, when it comes to dogs, especially Huskies, it's all about repetition. Repeating these things helps them memorize it and understand it better and it literally changes their behavior over only the course of a couple of weeks. So find a nice park, get a long leash or find a backyard and practice these things on a regular basis. And guess what, bro? You gonna have huskies that listen in. That's right. You boof? That's right. That's what's up. Boom. We had a blast hanging out with you guys today. Thanks for coming on the adventure and learning how to teach your Siberian Huskies what's up outdoors. I hope these tips and tricks help you out when it comes to raising your doggo or your Siberian Floofy. Go get it. <laughs> there they go. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and write them down in the comments section below. We'll go ahead and answer them as fast as we can. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more awesome free Huskaroni pizza information. If you just got a Siberian Husky or a brand new dog, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. And until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What, Dude? Yep, whatever we make. Peace. Yeah.